Do you want your backpacking trips to be easier and more comfortable? I'm only a mediocre backpacker, but I spent decades picking up tips and tricks from pro backpackers like Andrew Skirka and Dan Derson so that when I get out on my trips, they're as easy and comfortable as possible. Today we're going over the five best hacks that I've come across and the last one is gonna help you revolutionize pooping in the woods. This first hack also has to do with poop, but I promise the middle three do not. I'm really lucky and I am really regular while I'm out on trail. I poop first thing in the morning all the time, but I know a lot of you out there, it might sneak up on you or you have a sip of coffee and then you have to go right away. In order to avoid accidents, prairie dogging, or having to rush digging a cat hole, when you get to camp, go find a spot that you wanna poop the next day and dig your cat hole then. You can then dig your cat hole in comfort, make sure it's gonna be the right size, and then the next day, you're all set to go when it's game time. A lot of people use smart water bottles out on trail, and for those who like convenience, they've also picked up the sports caps. But if you're not careful, the sports caps can break very easily, especially the hinge. So a tip I picked up from Bungsy is to mark the opposite end from the hinge with permanent marker so you're always applying force and torque directly opposite from the hinge and that's gonna result in the hinge lasting a whole lot longer. For me, my hinges are lasting about three times as long when I'm marking the opposite end with a permanent marker. And while you can't pick up pre-marked water bottle lids from their online store yet, the sponsor of today's video, Garage Grown Gear, is all about providing innovative gear so that your backpacking trips are more enjoyable. And two of my favorite pieces of gear that they carry are the Vargo Dig Dig Trowel and the Bogler Trowel. The Bogler Trowel is an ultralight engineering marvel, whereas the Dig Dig Trowel is a super durable trowel that's gonna be able to get you through any kind of ground to get your cat holes dug. And you can check out both these trowels as well as the five other trowels that Garage Grown Gear carries at the link in the video description. Condensation in tents is sometimes inevitable, but what doesn't help is when it, you have cold nights with clear skies. And that's because you have condensation build up on the inside of the fly due to the outside of the fly cooling off due to radiative heat loss to the sky. A tip I picked up from Andrew Skirka is to try and always have something above your tent. A lot of the time, that's gonna be a tree. I'm in the desert right now, so there's not a ton of trees around, but in the Canadian Rockies, there's lots of trees, and I always make sure that my tent is underneath big, long branches of a tree so that those branches above me are gonna be cooling off to the sky instead of my tent fly. After filtering water, your filter is always gonna have a little bit of water left inside of it, even if you shake it out really, really well. And if the water inside of your filter freezes, then the ice crystals that form are gonna break the membranes of the filter and render that filter useless. And for that reason, you always need to be keeping your filter warm if temperatures are gonna be sub-freezing. And the best way to do that overnight is to sleep with your filter inside your sleeping bag or quilt. But I recommend always sleeping with your filter because you never know when temperatures are unexpectedly gonna get really low and you don't wanna be stuck with a filter that doesn't work. As well, it's really easy to just forget to sleep with your filter if temperatures are getting sub-freezing especially as you change over from summer into fall and winter seasons. I think it's just better to get into the habit of always sleeping with your filter and have that as part of your systems. I've forgotten to sleep with my filter. I've been out on trips and had to use other mechanisms in order to treat my water and it just wasn't fun or convenient. Time to revolutionize how you poop in the woods. Squatting over a cat hole can be difficult, especially if you lack flexibility or are getting old like me. The hack to making your poops so much easier is to take one leg completely out of your pants and under Underwear when you're squatting over the hole. The way to do it is to plant your feet directly how you want them to be when, as you're squatting over the hole and then take off one shoe for the foot that you're going to be taking your pant leg out of and you're going to be planting your foot back on that shoe to make sure it's in a good spot and then you're going to take your pants down, take one foot out of the hole and then squat over and do your business. Once you're done, you just reverse the process, putting your leg back into your pants, trying not to lose your balance and stepping into the poop that you just put in that hole. Go check out this video if you like being comfortable out on trail. I go through my entire ultra comfort gear list so that you can be the most comfortable when out on backpacking trips.